share that with you. First of all, as we've talked about, viruses do not harm or kill us. It's the overreaction from a weakened and dysfunctional immune system to the virus that hurts us. And it's that dysfunctional immune system response is a result of under, you know, uh, underlying pre-existing conditions. And here's some of them. Obesity, diabetes, heart disease, smoking, immunocompromise, and let's not forget the environment. Dirty air, dirty water, dirty food. So in summary, if you look at most of the people who are dying out there, it's not healthy people. 90, 99% of them already have had other disease. They have an obesity issue, diabetes issue, immunocompromise, or the elderly as their immune systems go down. That is not being featured. Again, that's not being highlighted. I don't see Tucker Carlson talking about it. I don't see CNN talking about it. And Tucker, if you're listening, you probably will talk about it, but you won't put me on because you're so damn afraid of guys like me because you want to be a grifter. And it's really, really unfortunate because this message should be going out to tens of millions. In fact, Fox News, by the way, called us, wanted to have me on, and then they got scared back by their executives. A very nice woman who said, Shiva, my, my mother saw your videos, I want you on, and then she was nixed. That's what goes on with mainstream media. I say shut off mainstream media, they don't deserve your eyeballs, period. It's really, really disgusting. But the bottom line is that it's an overreactive immune system. We got viruses all around, we're being attacked. But when your immune system is overreactive and dysfunctional, your body goes attacks itself. That's what's actually going on. Okay, so let's talk about that. Now, what I'm showing you here, you've heard the term cytokine storm, okay? So what is a cytokine storm? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk you through this now, and this is what's going on. What's going on is that your body has these multiple systems of, of the immune system. When you feed it properly through right nutrition, and again, nutrition isn't even talked about by Tucker Carlson or CNN or any of these guys, okay? Tucker Carlson will start getting really upset talking about something else, which he watches what I'm doing, but, he, but maybe now he will, but they will never talk about nutrition, they will never talk about food, they will never talk about vitamin D, vitamin A, vitamin C, and we can go down the zinc and all that, okay? Why won't they talk about it? Because it does not support their narrative, which is their buddies that they hang around with their clubs, which are from Big Pharma. Now, what happens when you have a compromised immune system? So imagine you have six cylinders and only two are working. Well, while only two are working, those two will overreact. So in your body, you have the innate immune system, you have the interferon system, you have the adaptive system, you have your amazing gut microbiome, you have your neural system. Well, when all of these are working together, your body knows how to take a hit, come back strong, and get stronger. But if one of your immune systems, for example, your macrophages in your innate, innate system are shot up because you eat too much freaking sugar, okay? And, it, and you have gliotoxins, which knocks out your macrophages as well as your T cells. Now you're just reliant on what's called cytokines. So when a virus comes in, your own body not only tries to attack it, it overreacts and it unleashes cytokines. So this is a good diagram that represents that. So what you're seeing, because we're talking about acute respiratory distress here, your here you see your, your, T, your activated T cells, your activated macrophages, your activated neutrophils, your ep, these sub, and including your epithelial. All of these, these little black dots, unleash a cytokine storm and that creates acute respiratory distress, okay? So what's going on is your own body is attacking your own body, okay? Now this doesn't occur to all of us if we have the right nutrients, but it occurs to those people who've destroyed their body, but as you age, your thyroid level functions go down, you don't have proper vitamin A, you're in the house, you don't get enough vitamin D, and what you create is you create this cytokine storm, and that cytokine storm starts attacking your own body. Certain viruses, because of their shedding, sometimes it goes attacks the endothelial, as I've talked about, and you start bleeding. Sometimes it goes attacks your epithelial, and you get fluid edema in the lungs, okay? It manifests itself in different ways, based on the individual, based on the exogenous substance, but the bottom line is, is it's an overreactive immune system. I hope that's clear, all right? Don't let anyone BS you anymore, bullshit you anymore, that these viruses, which are all around us, are what harms you, it's an overreactive immune system. So the issue is how do we beef up the immune system? How do we boost it, okay? 
So that's what we're going to talk about. So I want you to see this carefully because this is sort of what the cytokine storm looks like. All right. Now let's talk about this very interesting paper because I wanted to explain this to you called acute respiratory distress syndrome. Now, when you get that cytokine storm, I'm looking in the lungs at one of your alveoli. So let me explain this. Your lungs, when I breathe in, right? When, you know, if you breathe in, what happens is you increase volume. And if you follow Boyle's law, pressure times volume is a constant. As volume goes up, pressure comes down. Basic chemistry 101, seventh and eighth grade. If you didn't study it, I want to teach you again. PV, P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. It's called Boyle's law. All it means is that as volume increases, pressure comes down. So when I breathe in, volume increases, the pressure goes down in my lungs, and that's why low pressure air flows in. When you breathe out, volume decreases, pressure increases, and you go out. This is a process of inspiration and expiration, okay? When you breathe in air, inside your lungs are these beautiful little sacs called alveoli, A-L-V-E-O-L-I, alveoli. So you breathe in your air, you're getting oxygen in, and what are you trying to do? You're trying to oxygenate your blood. The blood comes from your heart, the blood with CO2 in it, which means quote unquote dirty blood, and then you want to infuse it with oxygen, so now you get oxygenated blood. And all of this is occurring in this beautiful structure called alveoli, okay? So what does that look like? So here's the alveoli. Okay, I'm looking at one of them. Now, when an alveoli is under distress, this little beautiful little bulb here, which is called the alveolus, gets filled with fluid. And you know, when you have uh, you know, uh, lung injury, this leads to lung, the endothelial, and the epithelial with increased permeability. What do I mean by that? This is your alveoli. This is the endothelial right here. This is your artery where it's bringing in beautiful, you know, I mean, old blood, and it's going to infuse it with oxygenated blood coming in here. Now, when this is under distress, as I mentioned, when you have this cytokine storm, when this takes place, look what happens. This starts filling up with fluid that's coming in, as, as, as the narrative here says, ALI leads to lung endothelial epithelial injury, increased permeability of the alveolar capillary barrier. That means this capillary here, this barrier breaks down and you start getting fluid in here. And this, by the way, to people